This is a demonstration of how to use Stata to replicate the results of an example provided in a widely used textbook on multivariate data analysis. The book, by Joseph Hare and others, is familiar to many university researchers and students, but what may not be as well known is that there is a set of freely available sample data which you can use to replicate the results reported in the book. I use the 7th International Edition when cross-referencing my results to the book. I am aware that there are at least two other versions of the 7th edition. These will probably have different page numbers, but as far as I can see, the example itself is the same across the different editions. For this video, I will be looking at the Principal Component Analysis, or PCA, example in the second part of Chapter 3. The PCA is applied to the so-called HBAT sample data downloaded from the author's website using the variables x6 through x18 for a sample size of 100 cases as set out on the first tab of the spreadsheet. Before we begin with the analysis, some disclaimers. As will quickly become very obvious, I am an interested generalist, not a statistician. I also assume that you are reasonably familiar with Stata such that you know how to, for example, import data, enter commands, save your results, and search for new functions that are not preloaded on your version of the software. Another assumption I make is that you know how to deal with issues with number formatting on your PC or Mac. This especially occurs if you live in a country where a comma is used as a decimal point rather than as the thousands separator. Although this video is not the place to explain the required technical fix, I ran the state to describe command immediately after importing the HBAT data to show that my decimal point and thousand separator settings are correct, which you can see from the float storage type. If you instead have string variables, you know that something has gone awry with your settings. Finally, before we begin, I use the terms factor and component interchangeably throughout, even though I am fully aware that they are not the same thing. We now proceed with the PCA. Notice that I use the stata command factor with the suffix comma PCF. I learned for myself the hard way that the stata command PCA does not work in terms of getting the kind of results that are reported in a typical research paper or indeed in the textbook example that we are trying to replicate. The output of this first iteration of the PCA process is not especially useful. What is more interesting are the KMO measures of sampling adequacy for each variable generated by the stata command estat KMO. The result is a list of MSA values. This achieves the first replication success of this video being identical to the numbers on the diagonal of the table on page 129 of the book. Hare and his co-authors specify that the minimum acceptable measure of sampling adequacy, or MSA, is 0 0.5. If there are any variables in the MSA table that are below this, you need to eliminate the lowest one. Note that you can't eliminate multiple variables at the same time. It is a one by one process. So we remove the variable with the lowest MSA below 0 0.5, which is X15 using the stata drop command. Then we need to go back to the start and rerun the factor comma PCF command on the reduced set of variables. Having done that, 
we once again generate the table of MSAs and inspect it for values below 0.5. This time, the lowest variable is X17. Notice that X11's MSA is also below the cutoff. However, the one at a time rule is applied, X11 is kept, and X17 is dropped. Then, it's back to the beginning again. As is becoming apparent, the PCA process is very repetitive, so we run the factor comma PCF command on the remaining 11 variables, followed by estat KMO, and note that the resulting table of MSAs replicates the diagonal values in the lower panel of the table on page 131 of the book. All MSAs are now above the minimum 0.5 level. Therefore, it is okay to proceed with the next step of the PCA. In a minor and temporary diversion from the methodology of Hare and his co-authors, I now run Horn's parallel analysis using the stator command para n. This indicates that three components should be retained. In contrast, the book makes this call on the basis of the more simplistic and traditional scree test in combination with the Kaiser unadjusted eigenvalue criterion. This results in four components being retained and we follow suit in accordance with our replication objective. As an aside, if you have never run Horn's parallel analysis in Stata before, you may have to install it on your version of the software first. This is easily achieved. Stata is very good at helping you search for and install additional commands. The next step is to run factor comma PCF on the same 11 variables as the previous step, but this time adding the option factors 4. In the previous iteration, Stata auto-generated 11 components because there are 11 variables. Now we instruct the software to fit the variables to only 4 components. The resulting output can with not very much effort, be matched to table 7 on page 133. The loadings of each variable on each factor are the same. The only difference is a minor one. Stata is on its own journey in terms of not reporting communalities. Instead, it generates uniqueness, which is one minus communality. As a check, Note that Stata reports uniqueness of 0.232 for variable x6. 1 minus this is a communality of 0.768, which is confirmed in Table 7. The next step in the PCA process, according to the authors, is to inspect the communalities, ensuring that all are above 0.5. For the Stata version of the output, we deal instead with the maximum uniqueness of 0.5 and check that all values are below the ceiling. If this test is failed, the variable with the lowest communality is eliminated and the PCA process is restarted from the beginning. In this case, there is no need to eliminate any variables because all of the communalities meet the required minimum level. So we proceed directly to a rotation on the same basis as the book, which is an orthogonal Varimax rotation with Kaiser normalization turned on. The Stata command is easily remembered being rotate, comma, normalize. The key numbers in the resulting rotated factor loading table generated by Stata concur with the upper panel of table 8 on page 135. The main differences are that Hare and co-authors inconveniently reorder the variables and don't show the low-valued loadings. There is also the communality uniqueness issue discussed earlier. The rotated factor loadings are now inspected, this time checking for two characteristics. Firstly, all communalities must still be at least 0.5. Secondly, there should be no significant cross-loadings. Although the communalities present no problems, 
we observe that X11 is significantly loaded on both factor 1 and on factor 4. This is seen as being problematic and therefore X11 is dropped and we have to go all the way back to the beginning and start the PCA all over again. We run factor, comma, PCF with the 10 remaining variables. Use ESTAT KMO to check the MSAs and observe that all are within range. Horn's analysis then indicates once again the retention of three factors, but we follow the book and instead keep four running the factor command again with this specification. We check the uniqueness values, note that all are below 0.5 and so proceed to rotate. The rotated factor loadings produced by Stata concur with those in the lower panel of table 8 on page 135. After applying the 1 minus communality equation, so do the uniqueness values. We also note that there are no significant cross loadings. Finally, I conclude with Bartlett's test using the command factor test. You will have to add this to your software if you have never used it before. Although I note that Hare and his co-authors do their Bartlett calculation at the beginning of the PCA, it seems to me to make more sense to leave this until you have settled on what appears to be an acceptable selection of variables loaded onto a plausible set of factors. And that concludes my demonstration. If you have found this to be helpful, please consider hitting the like button. It really helps the channel.